All right, welcome to another 7 Minutes in Control with Rob Allen. And I've got a, uh, a good special guest here with me today, Mr. Michael Bonner. Um, I think that you guys all know Mr. Mike. Now, Mike, I understand you're here under protest today. Is that? Is that that's correct, yeah. It's, that's correct. So I've, I've got him here on, the, on this side of the camera. He prefers to be on the other side of the camera. Um, but, you know, he's the smartest guy that I know. So every once in a while, he's got to, uh, he's got to get over here with me. So... Basically today what we're going to talk to you about is this new product that we started carrying called Plug It. It's pretty neat. It's a uh, wireless smart plug load device that you uh, hook in various equipment that you would normally plug into a wall and it's going to give you the ability to measure it and control it um, to basically save energy. So it's a, it's a really pretty neat, pretty neat thing and we're going to break that down for you now. So um, Michael, tell us, there's three different models. Tell us kind of what, we're, what, what we have out there. All right. Uh, there's, basically there's two plug-in models. One that just has on-off control and one that has on-off control with measurement, so you can uh, calculate uh, energy used. And then there's also a hardwired inline device that you can't walk up to and just unplug from the wall. Very cool. So this is something that, you know, in your, in your building everybody's got, well, most people have a vending machine, you know, water coolers and fountains and stuff like that. So think about um, coffee machines, that type of stuff. So think about like a K through 12 system um, and all the water fountains that they have and after school ends at three, four, five o'clock and after school's over and all that kind of good stuff, those water fountains are plugged into a wall and they're basically utilizing energy. So if we had a way to, to disconnect those from the power and then turn them right back on in the morning when school's ready to start, think about how much energy we would save over the year. Same thing, vending machines are huge. You know, when the buildings close down, you know, you're not going to have that plug load. You don't need that plug load at night because no one's using the vending machine. You can save that power. So uh, pretty cool stuff. So with vending machines, water fountains, uh, what else, Mike? Anything else? Uh, copy machines, uh, any of your desk plug load, uh, monitor, stuff like that. So uh, on average on these things, I mean, what, what type of money are you going to save, you know, annually maybe? Uh, I mean, it really depends on your equipment and how efficient it is. For older equipment, you could save you know, up to 350 500 bucks a year for a vending machine. Wow. Wow, that's huge. So think about that. Multiply that times however many vending machines you have if you're a a really big uh, facility or, or you've got a really big break room or something like that. I know that uh, a lot of places that I go to have that, so that could, that could do that really quick. And I understand you could probably save, you know, 30 to $80 on, on a, a year annually with a computer monitor. So add up all the computer monitors. Um, some of them already have the energy saving equipment in them, but if you could, uh, you know, if you could save money there, that's, that's really huge, really cool stuff. You know, and if you think about it, you know, with the relative inexpensive um, cost of these things, you know, the, the payback is super um, quick. Is that a word? Super duper quick? That's like sure. something that I could hear Ashtray saying and stuff like that. Super duper quick. So obviously payback is, uh, is, is excellent with that. And you know, and you know that if you've listened to Control Talk Now, the Smart Building Podcast with the man, the myth, the whatever, the legend and in that guy, other guy, the ball headed guy, you know, they'll, uh, they'll tell you all that kind of good stuff. So very cool. Um, so Michael, you basically, you plug this thing into the wall. You plug in whatever it is that you want to, you know, that needs the power into that. But then how do you program it? What do you do from there? I probably should know this right now. <laughs> All right, hang on. <laughs> All right, so as far as actually using the, the plug-it, so basically, Michael, I guess we, you plug the plug-it into the wall. Mm -hmm. And then you plug whatever it is that you were going to um, power up into that. Correct. And then we have to program it somehow. So then how's that, how's that play? Yep. So there's a windows based configuration software where you um, can set it up and it can run all your scheduling for all your devices. Um, the device actually gets on your Wi-Fi network. So the computer would have to be on the same network as your Wi-Fi. Um, and then they can all talk to each other via the Wi-Fi to get back onto the network of the building. Very cool. It'd be really cool if we could somehow tie that into a J somehow. That'd be really neat. Well, funny you mentioned that you can. Well, how about that? There is a driver. So what do you do? So the so the so the plugins are wireless, and so I guess at some point you got to get the those back to a wireless access point, and then you run that into an Ethernet switch of yep. some so sort. Yeah. Once it's then, on the Wi-Fi, then that Wi-Fi has access to the same network that your Jace is on, and you can discover the devices and schedule them via your Jace. So plug it is up for a uh, Control Trends award, so you bet, definitely want to uh, get this product. You can purchase it through Stromquist if you're in Georgia and Florida. Outside of it, we want to get you set up with a CGNA member. Uh, we can probably put a link or something like that up for mm -hmm. to be able to get that. Um, so that that would be good stuff for you. You know, try it out, check it out, see if it's something that you think you'd like, and then if, if you do, go over to Control Trends and uh, and vote for their CTA award. Really good stuff. 
Um, all right, so in closing, you know, on the message boards and that type of stuff that's been going on all this, if you haven't been listening to 7 Minutes of Control, you're really missing out. We've got a lot of good stuff. And, and one of the main questions people keep coming back to, I don't understand, is, is Michael, they talk about you often. What are you laughing at? I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> and they just, uh, they want to know, are you a boxer or a brief man? Huh? Boxers all the way. All right, another 7 Minutes of Control with Rob Allen. See you next time.